Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's talk about stateful versus stateless widgets. Now, this is fundamental to Flutter. If we don't understand this, and I have a little bit of trouble understanding it, it we're going to be blocked right here. Okay, so before you create any widget, you have to actually ask yourself, is this stateful or is it stateless? So we really have to understand this concept. And it's pretty straightforward, but it, it does catch me quite a few times. So a stateless widget is a widget that doesn't depend upon other widgets or interactions. It does not remember previous actions. And if we think about it as a class, the properties themselves are immutable. Okay, so in other words, they don't change. So if, if we think about what is an example of a stateless widget, let's just say right here. So this banner, right? Don't remember what we call this. The, the, this this um, uh, ribbon right here, this banner um, with the the text inside of here. So the we can change the color of this thing, like purple, green, or whatever. We can change that, right? But at the same time, it really w once you create it, it doesn't depend upon anything else. You create it from the very beginning and you set it. You could change it later on, but it really doesn't have a particular value that is dependent upon right? As opposed to a stateful where it depends upon other inputs uh, and other widgets and it changes. A stateful widget has a particular value at any given time. And I'm going to use the term value loosely instead of the word state. Okay. Let, let's remember right here. So we reset this and it goes to zero. So I click on it and it goes to one and I click on it goes to two. Remember, it does remember the previous actions. So if it didn't remember that the previous value was zero, when I clicked on it, it couldn't have actually added a value to it, right? So it has to remember the state right here that's two, and I click on it, and it goes to three. As opposed to this text here, it doesn't really have a state where it doesn't matter how I interact with it. I can change these values themselves, but at the same time, it doesn't really make a big, huge difference. Now, wait a minute, I just, just said these properties are immutable. Well, what I mean by something like that is, yes, you could change some of these properties inside here in the sense that they're, they're small changes, but it doesn't change any particular overall value in and of itself. It's a little confusing. So at what place do you draw the line for it? So for example, what if I have a time Okay, so I'm looking for time. I create a widget that reflects the time. Is that stateful or is that stateless? Well, it would be stateless. All right, so why is that? It has a value, okay? It doesn't need to remember the previous actions though, right? So if it's 847, if it, was, it doesn't care if it was previously 846 or 842, whatever's the current time is all it really cares about. It sends, the, the phone sends information to that particular widget and says, this is what the time actually is. Right, so it doesn't depend upon that. It, it, it the property of the if I can just imagine the property of this stateless um, time icon itself is it would probably say something like final time equals this. So the the time property would not would would equal the actual time coming from the phone. Right, so that would the value the relationship between the variable or the property time would equal the message, excuse me, the information that's being sent from the phone in and of itself. So that property is actually immutable. It's not actually changing itself. It's not changing to something different, right? So that's where it's, it gets us a little bit. So w the way to think about it is if it's a stateless object itself, it doesn't depend upon any other values elsewhere on the application itself. Um, if the um, if it is stateful, it will depend upon input or interaction it itself. Time, it doesn't depend upon a user input, so it's probably stateless. Battery, probably stateless. Clicking on something, when I click here, it shows the screen here, it clearly depended upon me clicking on that. I click here, it shows up these screens. Those are going to be more stateful objects themselves. It depends upon where my screen is, right? So if my screen is, if my screen is like this and I click on it, nothing happens. If my screen is like this and I click on it, something happens. So it does make a difference what state, what value your current screen actually has when you interact with it. 
right? So keep those general concepts in mind, stateful versus stateless. I think that's clear to me now. Um, I, I do see a lot of questions about it in forums and stuff like that. So it's clearly not super, super simple, but that's the basics. And we'll probably come into some of these more um, in the, not probably, we'll definitely um, hit some of more of these in the future.